Welcome back to Garden Bound. Today we're talking about saffron. Saffron, often referred to as the spice of kings, has a rich history dating back thousands of years. This prized spice is derived from the delicate threads of the saffron crocus flower. Known for its vibrant color, distinct flavor, and numerous health benefits, saffron has been used in culinary and medicinal practices across various cultures and civilizations. What sets saffron crocus apart is its unique characteristics that make it highly sought after. The spice is known for its intense flavor profile, with a subtle floral aroma and a slightly bitter taste. Saffron's vibrant red color adds a beautiful hue to dishes, making it a popular choice for enhancing the visual appeal of culinary creations. Additionally, Saffron is packed with antioxidants and has been linked to various health benefits, including improved mood, enhanced memory, and reduced inflammation. When it comes to cultivating saffron crocus bulbs for optimal growth and blooming, selecting the right location is key. By choosing a suitable spot that meets the specific needs of these delicate flowers, you can ensure a successful harvest of the precious saffron threads. Here are some guidelines to help you identify the ideal location for planting saffron crocus bulbs. Choose a sunny spot with well-draining soil to plant the saffron crocus bulbs. These flowers thrive in full sunlight, so it is essential to select a location that receives at least six, eight hours of direct sunlight daily. Saffron crocus bulbs require ample sunlight to photosynthesize and produce energy for growth and flowering. Planting them in a sunny spot will help promote healthy development and vibrant blooms. Ensure the location receives at least six to eight hours of sunlight daily for proper growth. Saffron crocus bulbs are sensitive to light levels and insufficient sunlight can hinder their growth and flowering. By placing the bulbs in a sunny spot, you can provide them with the necessary light exposure to thrive and produce an abundant harvest of saffron threads. Avoid areas with standing water or excessive moisture to prevent bulb rot. Saffron crocus bulbs are susceptible to rotting if they are planted in waterlogged or poorly drained soil. To prevent this, choose a location with well-draining soil that allows excess water to flow away from the bulbs. Proper drainage is essential for the health and longevity of saffron crocus bulbs, ensuring they remain disease-free and able to flourish in their growing environment. To ensure the successful cultivation of saffron crocus bulbs and encourage healthy growth and flowering, it is essential to follow the correct planting method. By properly planting the bulbs in the soil, you can provide them with the optimal conditions they need to thrive and produce the prized saffron threads. Here are some guidelines to demonstrate the correct method of planting saffron crocus bulbs. Plant the bulbs in the soil with the pointed end facing upwards and cover with a thin layer of soil. When planting saffron crocus bulbs, it is crucial to position them correctly in the soil. Place the bulbs with the pointed end facing upwards to ensure that the emerging shoots can grow in the right direction. Cover the bulbs with a thin layer of soil, making sure they are securely nestled in place, but not buried too deeply. This planting method will provide the bulbs with the necessary support and protection as they begin to grow. Space the bulbs four to six inches apart to allow room for growth and expansion. Saffron crocus bulbs require adequate space to develop and spread their roots. By planting the bulbs four to six inches apart, you can give them room to grow without overcrowding, allowing each bulb to access the nutrients and resources it needs to thrive. Proper spacing also helps prevent competition among the bulbs and promotes healthy growth and flowering. Water the newly planted bulbs lightly to settle the soil and encourage root development. After planting the saffron crocus bulbs, give them a gentle watering to help settle the soil around the bulbs and promote root establishment. Avoid overwatering as excessive moisture can lead to bulb rot. Lightly moistening the soil will provide the bulbs with the hydration they need to kickstart growth and encourage healthy root development. Proper care and maintenance of saffron crocus plants throughout the growing season are essential to ensure a bountiful harvest of the prized saffron threads. Water the plants sparingly, allowing the soil to dry out between waterings to prevent root rot. Saffron crocus plants prefer well-drained soil and do not tolerate excessive moisture. Water the plants sparingly, allowing the top layer of soil to dry out between waterings. Overwatering can lead to root rot and other fungal diseases, so it is crucial to strike a balance and provide the plants with just the right amount of moisture to support healthy growth. Fertilize the plants with a balanced fertilizer in early spring to promote healthy growth. 
In the early spring, when saffron crocus plants are actively growing, apply a balanced fertilizer to provide them with essential nutrients. A balanced fertilizer will help promote strong root development, lush foliage, and vibrant blooms. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for application rates and timing to avoid over-fertilizing, which can harm the plants. Remove any weeds or debris from the planting area to prevent competition for nutrients. Weeds and debris can compete with saffron crocus plants for essential nutrients, water, and sunlight. Regularly inspect the planting area and remove any weeds or debris that may be encroaching on the plants. Maintaining a clean and weed-free environment around the saffron crocus plants will help them thrive and focus their energy on growth and flowering. The process of harvesting saffron threads from the delicate crocus flowers is a labor-intensive yet rewarding task that requires precision and care. By following the correct harvesting techniques and proper storage methods, you can preserve the flavor, aroma, and vibrant color of the precious saffron threads. Here is a detailed guide on how to harvest and store saffron to ensure long-lasting freshness and quality. Carefully pluck the red stigmas from the flowers early in the morning when they are fully open. Saffron threads are the red stigmas of the saffron crocus flowers and they must be harvested at the right time to capture their full flavor and aroma. Early in the morning, when the flowers are fully open, carefully pluck the red stigmas from the center of the flowers using tweezers or your fingers. Take care not to damage the delicate threads, as they are fragile and can easily break. Dry the harvested saffron threads in a cool, dark place to preserve their color and flavor. After harvesting the saffron threads, Spread them out in a single layer on a clean, dry surface in a cool, dark place. Allow the threads to air dry for several days, turning them occasionally to ensure even drying. Proper drying is essential to preserve the color, flavor, and aroma of the saffron threads, ensuring they retain their quality and potency. Store the dried saffron threads in an airtight container away from light and moisture for long-term freshness. Once the saffron threads are fully dried, Transfer them to an airtight container, such as a glass jar or a sealed plastic bag. Store the container in a cool, dark place away from direct sunlight and moisture. Proper storage is crucial to maintain the freshness and potency of the saffron threads, ensuring they remain flavorful and aromatic for an extended period. Now is the perfect time to start your own saffron crocus garden and experience the joy of harvesting your own saffron. With dedication, patience, and a touch of creativity, you can cultivate this royal spice in your own backyard and elevate your culinary adventures to new heights. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any garden-bound content.